<laughs> so here we are shooting the intro again before we really get into anything. I mean, after the fact, I should say, but that turned into a really great stop. So really doesn't have a specific name. So just, I guess, join us for Cobbling the Cove. I'll give it the name that the sign has. You know what to do. Grab yourself a tasty treat. Beverage your choice. Keep your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside this vlog at all times. While you're at it, check out our other social media, which can be found in the description of every video. Our Facebook page, Facebook group, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok. I do Google Maps reviews, all of that. You can email me also with any thoughts, comments, questions, all of that stuff. Teddy, hold up a minute. Oh, date. It is Sunday, May 22nd, 2022. Oh, here he comes. I found the tree house. Hi, I'm Christina from Herrick's to Coasters. I have told you time and time again, you're not going to paint the baby pink. Gonna drive the Jeep. Gonna drive it down the road. See where we go. One, two, three, go. <laughs> On the next episode of Alone, Family Challenge. Hi, Mr. Ping. Who is this little bundle of joy? road like way after like Fabri and stuff. I'm coming honey. You have this little like side parking area and you have this giant staircase that I've never done because Mark doesn't really like doing stairs and I've never gotten to go down it but Teddy likes steps so we're gonna go down. Ready? You want me to help you read it? It says do not remove beach stones. That's right because we practice leave no trace ethics. And we don't want to take the stones away from the environment. Do not remove beach stones. Good job. Now we're ready for some steps, huh? So yeah, it goes way, way down onto a nice little beach area. And it either is coming into low tide or has been low tide. And I like seeing the water come under the bridge too. That's really cool. So this is exciting. I'm getting to do something that I've never actually personally done. I really did try to convince Teddy he should put sneakers on today instead of his Crocs, but I got told nope. So just go slow, Teddy, honey, because you are wearing Crocs and they're slippery. Go slow and hold on and you'll be fine. But wow, this is exciting. So yeah, this does look like a place that's probably really good to visit when you're near the low tide. Yeah, you're going slow. You're doing a good job, honey. Doing a good job. Wow, you're doing really good. Of course, actually, I'm wearing my L.L. Bean Crestas today, which aren't exactly good on slick surfaces themselves. But isn't this really cool, Teddy? Look at the water. The brook is coming underneath the bridge. How beautiful. You're doing great, honey. You're doing wonderful. Wow, that's really cool how that's coming underneath that. Going right down. <laughs> Teddy's just realizing the water's coming under the bridge, Mama, he says. The water's coming under the bridge. And then it goes all the way down out into the ocean. Isn't that cool? You can keep going, honey. It's okay. Good job. So, another look back. I don't want to step off because it is fragile. I wanted to kind of zoom in and show you guys so you can look through the bridge a little bit. 
Now we're on our last set of stairs and you can see how the brook empties right down into the ocean. And yes, we still are having a really foggy, foggy day today. But fog adds its own beauty. Fog's just a different part of God's artistry. God likes to be creative in his artistry. So he's just presenting us with something different today. You're doing so good, honey. Yeah, do you need mama to hold your hand? Okay, so now you see it coming out. Then this is the good part, because we're in crustas, I can step right in this. I don't think you should, honey. That's a little cold for you wearing Crocs. Mom's got crustas on, they're waterproof. Wanna walk out on the pebbles? So this is a really cool beach where it's all, it's kind of like seawall. It's all really smooth rocks that have been smoothed by the ocean. Yeah? Just don't throw at people, but you can still throw. Yeah, go that way. Sure. Teddy had a rock he wanted to throw. There's a whole beach. He had to go up the steps to throw it in the brook. That is too funny. <laughs> that is too... Be careful. You got it. Good catch. Good catch. Good job. Yeah. Need help coming down? Yeah, you can come down and around, that's fine. <laughs> so, he, I keep trying him to get to go down on the beach more. I'm like, go throw him in the ocean. No, he wants to keep getting rocks and climbing the steps. <laughs> so I finally coaxed him over here. I convinced him this was a cave. But it is really cool how the water, you know, especially when the tide gets really high, it's pushed all those rocks right up in that crevice. He's gonna try to go for those. I had a feeling. Oh, you got it! Look at you. You're so strong. Good job, honey. Well, I don't think we need to carry that all the way back, honey. You could take it down to the ocean. No. Nice waves crashing in. What do you think? Oh, good catch. Good catch. You think you need to take that up the stairs to throw? You're so silly. <laughs> you think you're gonna play sink or flow? So we settled on this stream right here playing sink or float. Is that one gonna sink or float? Oh, going away with that one. Oh, he was throwing them in there. <laughs> Taking that one up, are you? You made it. You're so determined. Oh, now you're coming to this side. I love. All those are up in that log. Yeah, do you see them? You see, oh, you can add to it? There you go. Oh, and take that one. Is it, is, it's an exchange, kind of like geocaching. Okay. Found a way to do nature's sidewalk chalk. The little rock he has is one that will mark. Good part is, is this is still honoring leave no trace ethics because when the tide comes or rain comes, it will wash that reed off. So there's no permanent mark. It's no chemicals. It's just nature on nature and nature will make it disappear. So it's nature's magical schoolhouse. And Teddy's walking away with it. Yeah, I'm going to find another spot. 
No. So Teddy was hoping we had to shoot our intro after the fact. Don't go too close to the edge, sweetie. Teddy was hoping it was a trail, but it, I think it's just kind of a social trail. So I'm not going to encourage it. Probably people just kind of go out to take a peek or a pee, either one. All right. Thank you for joining us for playing with rocks. It's closed. The trail is closed. You're going to be a good steward of the land, aren't you, sweetie? A good steward telling people not to use social trails. Anyway, hope you enjoyed our little uh, shiny pebble beach fun. Peace and love, gang. Keep adventuring. Have a blessed day. And hey, what's next? Where do you suppose our adventures will lead us next?